All right, let's do this again. Um, not bad. Not bad. Can I fit everything I want? Nope, because I also want this banana. I think I'd rather have the banana than the garlic, though. I think that's pretty solid. We'll just rock with this. Yeah, we'll just rock with that. I was looking for gloves yesterday. I swear shop was sold out. It happens. I swear. Especially when you need them the most. The game knows exactly what build you're trying to go for, and it just refuses to give you the items. I missed. Literally missed with 85% accuracy. I missed, and he hit me with a dagger, and we lost. Disgusting. I'm gonna go for a shovel here. I got 10 money. I'll buy both of these and roll for space. Nice. The game read my mind. Whoops. Wait, did I have that correctly? Nah, because this needs to be inside of here. I guess I have to do something like this. Something like this. <laughs> we'll use that for stam. That's boom. Actually, I should probably like switch this up slightly. Maybe do this instead. That way I can get some food touching that pan and then do that. I think it works a little bit better. <laughs> but with the shovel, we can get a little bit of economy and not to mention we need the healing herbs anyways. So if the shovel can give us some healing herbs, that'd be amazing. I don't know what this guy's cooking up <laughs> at all. But we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take that. I'm not going to go for leather armor here because we don't really have space for it. So I think I'm going to pass on it and just hope for some magic to happen. I'll take this. That's pretty solid. I'm going to go ahead and buy this too. And honestly, we're going to pick up that lover's card eventually. Whenever we can. Hey, Chris Elias, what's up? <laughs> You like my hat? Thanks! I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to make crossplay, so I was invested. Bro, making a crossplay is so difficult. It is good, though. <laughs> it is definitely good. Difficult, but good. A stone? I was going to buy that stone. I'm glad you gave me that. Give me space. Please? No. Bag of stones, though. Bag of stones is good. Bag of stones is good. I'll take the bag of stones. Maybe I take the garlic out. Replace it with a healing herb, maybe? Get a little bit more maximum health. And just place a stone in. I'll take that. <laughs> it's not about winning in survival, it's about destroying in survival. Exactly. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> oh, he's got the rainbow badge. No. Yeah, we lost this for sure. He's just going to keep getting more vampirism and empowerment and everything. We just don't deal enough DPS. We've won empowerment. Damn it. Good game, though. Got the space. I'll take this up as well. One more space would be really nice. If I can manage to get it. I'll take this. I'm not going to... Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> so let's do this. Put that inside of there for the increase in DPS. Um, we can also move these down here. So I can use this shell totem for a little bit less stamina usage. And then we can use you here. And then we can go double piggies. Yeah. I like that. I like that. We should win this one. His DPS isn't all that great. He's just got a shoulder with a wooden sword. The biggest threat is probably this flute, though. A maxed out flute. Definitely our biggest threat. But with Bag of Stones, your armor doesn't matter. Three empowerment. We're taking that. I'm going to buy you. Yeah, I'll give me another stamina sack. I don't mind. A second lover's? Nah, I don't want a second lovers. Toad is something I do want, but there's also a pig there. With three piggies, we should have pretty solid economy, I think. You think this reverse card wouldn't be horrible either? But I think the, pity, the piggies take priority here. Just for the sake of economy. 
Reserve this. How much money we get next round? 11. Um. Yeah, the pig just takes priority, I believe. I'm, I don't think I want to reserve this though. I think we'll just stick with what I got and not reserve that. <laughs> to be honest, I feed, um, I feed items for 11 to 12 gold and I was expecting reliable crossplays. <laughs> that was like 45 to 48, yeah. Crossplay is extremely expensive. This battle went well for us actually. The three empowerment on a bag of stones is just nice, bro. Oh my god, the blind. I didn't even see that until now. We survived because of fatigue. The blind, bro. How did we even get 11 blind? No way it came all from the shovel. Right? Oh, the skull badge. Oh. Inflict a random debuff. Every 1.61 seconds, inflict a random debuff. Wow. And then the reflection right here of debuffs from my own shovel. We got, bro, our accuracy was 35% and 10% of the stones. We did just enough to survive when Fate T kicked in and killed him. Scary. This was not a bad shot. I got a Hungry Blade, which I think I'm gonna pick up the Hungry Blade. We already got two regenerations, not to mention we got the Lover's card, so. I'm going to sell this shovel. Selling the shovel, picking up the Hungry Blade. And we also going to need this Corrupted um, Crystal for when we find the heart. And then getting Toad is definitely a good play. For sure. And I could just do this. Thinking about getting the White Eye Blue Dragon. It's only two gold. I'm not going to be able to fit it anywhere. Unless I sacrifice something, but I don't want to sacrifice anything, so. I think we're just going to stick with this. I could roll twice. I think I'm going to roll twice. Not bad. I'll get a fanny pack. Don't mind a fanny pack. Could have sold the garlic and the stone for it. Made my hunger bay a little bit faster, but I think we're fine. Your armor means nothing to us, but the, the, the spikes does. Certainly does. Six vampirism, though, with three empowerment is not bad. My, my, my stones hit harder than yours. <laughs> Seven to nine versus a two to four. Let's go. All right, giraffe. Nope. Ooh, but we did get a heart. We did get an insta heart. Well, we can't insta proc the heart, but getting a heart is probably our best play. We don't have the space for it though, unless I just not use the banana. I could just not use it because we have to use Mr. Struggles here. Mr. Struggles has to go in the field one way or the other. And yeah, I'm buying a heart here. I don't mind. We got four lives. We're doing pretty solid right now. I don't mind buying the heart. At all. Okay, so let's see here. We gotta rearrange this situation somehow. To utilize Mr. Struggles. I mean, I could just do this. Put this over. Do a little situation like so. What else is important? I feel like we don't use that much stamina. We're at a 1.2, not to mention this is a 30%. And then we also got inside the, the, um, the bag. So maybe putting a banana on isn't like a great play um i say we just stick with this keep utilizing this economy we got going on customer card we just need a little bit more space i don't want to did not mean to do that i don't want to sell any items or anything i'm just gonna stick with this and call that a day ripshaw blade but gloves and a freaking snake plus the birdie well, this sucks. Ripshot Blade is just eating up our regeneration. Yeah, we lose this. We got destroyed. That maximum freaking health on the snake is nutty. All right, let's get you. I don't want anything else here, I don't think. No. Great sword already? We're going to see it later. I'm not going to pick it up now. I kind of just want other items. Man, that shop sucked. That shop sucked. I definitely wanted other items. Um, sure, why not? Let's put the we can put the banana in. One of those. 
That shop sucked. A lot. <laughs> Claws of attack, huh? On a leaf badge? With Tuscan poker. And shaman mask. Hmm. Shaman mask and leaf badge combination. Hmm. Oh my god, we're getting destroyed up here. I think we make the switch to the rapier. Yeah, we're making a switch to the rapier. Give me a giraffe now. Please. I'll take a lightsaber. Uh, not a lightsaber. Uh, I'll take a leather bag. Bro, I need to giraffe. I'm getting a bunch of Mr. Str I've seen like four of these. Literally, I've seen like four of them, bro. I don't need those. I need the other one. I don't need this one. I need the other one. Hey, maybe we'll be okay. At least we can insta proc the heart container. Not insta proc, but at least we will proc it. Yeah, we'll proc the hard container at the very least, which is okay. We should probably put blueberries in instead, because those are going to generate us clovers. I'm going to get this. Okay. <laughs> With our newly added fancy fancy rapier. I mean, it's just a great sword. I think we're fine going against just a singular greatsword. Yeah, proc this, maximum health, and we're just gonna mow him down. Let's go. Okay. Game, giraffe, thank you. Awesome. Getting this healing herb is awesome. Okay, that was way better. It was a way better round. Way better shop, way better round. Um, let's sell this. Get some space. Roll once. Bro, I'm about to pick up Mr. I'm, I'm gonna pick up a Mr. Struggles. Because the game wants to just give me these for some reason. A Phoenix and a Ripshaw Blade? Okay. We'll see what happens, maybe? Nah, Phoenix. Nah, we lose this. He's got way too many buffs. And he came at the live. Damn. Another giraffe. We need that other giraffe. Can we get infinite empowerment now? Let's do some math here. Let's see. Because we start the game off with this proccing. So we'll have one regeneration. Or we'll have, well, yeah, we'll have one regeneration with two empowerment. And then a giraffe should go off, right? Because that's the fastest thing. And just keep on giving us empowerment. Unless we go against, you know, a build counter. We could have probably made this better. But unless we go against a build counter, I feel like we'll be fine. Mm. I think I just want to put these over here and do that. For some reason. I feel like it just looks cleaner. And then this can go here. Heart can go there. Now I'll just do this. A mm. mouse. Yeah, I'll just do this. Um,
If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be super sad. I might even get a Nico here to make this 20% faster. Maybe I can sell both pigs. I need like one more gold though. I'll reserve it for next round, I think. I don't think I'm willing to sell anything for it. Yeah. We'll just go with this. We'll just go with this and see what happens. What are we going against? A great sword? Oof. Oof. Okay, so we start the game. Six empowerment, two regen. Or two clovers. Insta proc, give me infinite clovers from the giraffe. I mean, infinite empowerment from the giraffe. Nice. And we just keep on building up that infinite empowerment. Should help us out with our bag of stones, our rapier, pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. Now he's supered up. He might be able to one shot crit us here if we don't kill him now. Oh, one more hit and we're dead, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Very nice, very nice, very nice. So that build worked exactly how it was intended to work. Let me get both of these. Um, I feel like we're walking a very thin line for this build. That's interesting, but I don't know if I want that. We don't really need stamina for anything, so I think I pass. Another misfortune. Why even need that? I feel like I want to pick it up. Whoops, that's my alarm. I feel like I want to pick it up. For six, why not? I don't need stamina. That's the only reason I didn't get it. If I needed stamina, I'd probably have picked it up, but you're right, for six gold is pretty solid. But I just didn't need stamina. I felt like it was gonna do nothing. Other than create random buffs, but like stamina usage wise, we didn't need it. You think the buffs are worth it for six? You get like three random buffs of whatever the lowest is? I don't think it was worth it. I don't think if we had the great sword, I think it would worth it. For the sake of the stamina, but I don't I just don't think it was worth it. It is a big fluffy bu uh, bunny. <laughs> I think, uh, I think we get this. We have three blueberries and a toad. Eventually, the blueberries will generate us clovers to actually utilize this guy. So I feel like we get it. So I'm gonna sell this for it. And, uh, I have to move my bag of stones. Yeah, but I couldn't move this over here. I do this. And then where's my bag? Okay, bag of stones here. But I also need Nico to go somewhere. That's a solid spot for Nico. I could fit a four item in there like mr yeah kind of yeah what about a regen does that work no mm. that's all i got <laughs> damn it it has to be nico doesn't it unless i tilt this no that wouldn't be smart yeah we'll just do you I don't like how you're not 10% faster, but well, what if I did not do that? If I did this and then move my bag over by one. And then did that. Okay, that works. That'll work. That way I can keep you at 10% increase in speed and pretty much achieve the exact same thing. That'll work for me. All right, and the rest of these items kind of just go wherever they want. Ooh, I should probably rotate you. Yeah. Um, that can go here. 
Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Alright, there we go. That'll work for me. You also got a toes? Ugh. So I can buff it a bit. Yeah. Plus, maybe the uh, the clover, the random clover generation might have helped. Mm -mm 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 Every rule next unranked offering for a hammer in one and try it. You talking to uh What are y'all talking about? <laughs> just... Oh hey Diego. I didn't even see your name. My bad. What's up? I don't know. I just felt like I just when I look at a when I look at the buddy, I think of like stamina. And I, I just didn't think we you have eight. I didn't think we need stamina. So I was like, okay, we don't need stamina. But on the bright side, because I rolled on it, I got another giraffe. So there's that. Double axe is scary though. I think we'll be fine. Oh yeah, not to mention this gives us clovers too, which helps out the giraffe even more. Okay, cool. As long as we're getting infinite empowerment. <laughs> That's all I care about. But he's not in berserker mode and the game is tied. So there's that. Maybe we can survive two more hits. One more hit and we're dead. Okay. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I think it's time for Greatsword. I think it's time for the Greatsword. Is it time for cold? No. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is, actually. It's time for both. It's time for both. It's time for both. I don't know if I can afford both. We need 24 gold. I sell this for six, that's 21. 21, 22, 23. And we sell one stone for 24? That'd work, actually. That'd work. Boom. Boom. I just realized, bro, we're missing the fucking Heart of Darkness. Why didn't nobody tell me? <laughs> we could have gotten that like five rounds ago. Boom. All right, let's rearrange. Talking with cold is better. Oh yeah, it's way better. Way better. Boom. All right. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> um. Cold, right there. Bag of stones, right there. Other stone, right there. And then we'll just go. We don't need the shell totem. We sell shell totem, right? The shell totem is just gonna use up stamina from the the great sword. And we don't have any stamina generation anyways, right? So I think it's time we say goodbye to the shell totem. Pretty sure. What we're gonna put in these three slots, I don't know. We'll figure it out though. Uh. I'd like to put a harder the the. Wait, I can rotate this one. That achieves nothing. This will be fine, though. You can go... Something like this. Even I could rotate you. Put you right in there. That small little 36. Damn it. There we go. That'll work. Unless I move this down by one. And I could just do that. And that pretty much achieves everything. It even leaves that too. Awesome. We can lose if they had a cabinet discomfort and we get slightly unlucky. That is very true. Totem guarantee, so it's low. So it's that low downside. Yeah. 
it's a very thin line we're walking without having the corrupt at heart very thin line so if they are rocking the capital discomfort or anything that removes buffs anything like that we honestly might be fucked it's not even a might we will be fucked 100 percent chance but i don't want it to eat up the empowerment especially since we don't have any stamina so or i don't want it to eat up the stamina right so i'm just gonna sell it and hopefully we can find like some something dealing with stamina that we can just buy that would be nice i'm gonna get this Is this one the fights the triple jinx guy? <laughs> Shh! How dare you? Shh! It won't happen. Triple jinx cannot hurt you. Yeah, reverse chim chain will work well. Yeah. Cap reverse tim in chain whip. Let's see. Do we go against any of that? Okay, we don't. We don't go against any of that. We're just going against the burning sword. Double oil lamps. Double hearts, friendly fiend with triple blueberries. All right. We should be okay. Let's see what happens. All right, flip the card. Boom, infinite empowerment. Let's go. 50 damage to his dome. And just gonna keep on getting better and better and better and better and better. Sixty-one. One more hit, and all right. One more. One more hit. There we go. Okay, that went really well. That went really well. And we now got the heart of darkness, so we don't have to worry about empowerment anymore. Because now we're getting four instead of three, and that just works. Okay, what do we need? We need more toads. More toads. Um, another region would make me feel happy. <laughs> To just insta practice instead of having to rely on the lover's card. So one more under that one more of that would be great. Um What else are we looking for? That was a 50-52 empowerment, right? Uh yeah. I I wonder if they prioritize the other buffs. You are right, because we had we had two clovers and two empowerment. So they could have went the empowerment route and just gave us infinite empowerments. That's very true but that didn't happen like three games in a row so i don't know if they prioritize any buff that's not empowerment i mean any buff that's not clovers yeah one ace would be great agreed oil lamp next to the blade honestly that's not a bad idea because we need accuracy if this thing misses we're fucked so we go against a blind build that would suck so i'm just gonna go ahead and pick that up um ace of space would be good though get this i could get the nah i don't want to get that 12 gold i don't want to get it i don't want to get it i don't want to get it nothing here jinx maybe more blueberries equals more clovers maybe a jinx just to make things faster i could get it next round I can't afford it this round, but I'll get it next round. Not the six gold whop. I want the 12 gold whop. <laughs> it's a it's the timing. It's the timing. Thinks for five is good for clover removal. I was thinking for speed. You think it's too slow? I was thinking for speed just to speed up everything in the build. You know, you thought you guys think I shouldn't get it even though even though it's on sale. So it's like two procs. So all my items will be 10% faster. You win by uh, scaling buffs and slowing enemies. You either kill or get killed, right? <laughs> That's true. All right, let's not get it. I'll, I'll just trust you guys. We won't get it. Oh, 
King Crown is sucky. Lightsaber is sucky. Well, wait, he's not getting empower. He's not getting regeneration, so we don't have to worry about the blind, right? Nothing. No, he'll get regeneration from this, but this isn't insta proccing. But that does suck for the uh, the eight blind. But I mean, we do have oil lamp for that, and this isn't insta proccing, anyways. So we'll be able to uh, gain some accuracy, and when this does proc, maybe we'll have enough accuracy to combat the lightsaber. I'm just worried about King Crown. I don't like the vulnerability that King Crown gives. He's got a lot of mana generation. He's got that, 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 that. <laughs> like, a lot of mana generation. Okay. Oil Lamp saves you easily from that guy? I'm hoping. He's getting a Dark Saber. Interesting. Interesting. I forgot we got two heat. I'm so glad we got this heart. I forgot we get two heat from the oil lamp. We might have, if we didn't have this heart, we might have actually accidentally gotten infinite heat generator, which I guess wouldn't be bad, but I think I'd rather have the empowerment personally. Personally. All right, there's the proc. There goes my freaking accuracy going to shit. We have 65%. All right, I think we win. Because we can rely on the stones to do this chip damage. Or it could just do 130. How? Oh, because of... No, how did this do 100 damage? Oil Lamb didn't add that much damage. Oil Lamb definitely didn't add that much damage. Oh, the Corrupted Crystal. Okay, gotcha. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Another big sword? If we can find it in the next three rounds, I will definitely get it. 100% chance. Sure. We're gonna need that if we get the second sword anyways. Damn, the game hates me. The game hates me. Um... I kinda wanna get another Mrs. Struggles, not gonna lie. I just wanna put her right there. To corrupt the crystal could have been good. To put it on the... To put it on the sword. I feel like it wouldn't have mattered. Like, if the enemy's that low of health, at 30%, we could just rely on the stones, dealing 30 damage each. To do that extra chip damage to kill, I feel. You wouldn't have gold next round? She just seems so cuddly. Two corrupt means guaranteed below 30. What does that mean? Oh, like a guaranteed kill below 30 damage. All right, we're going to have to really hard roll for another great sword. It'll probably happen, though, on the bright side. Four yellow gems is the way. This is a mana build. He got everything mana. Everything he's using up his mana. And his mana generation isn't the best for all that. Because he uses up one, I use up one, does he use up three? All he has is a mana orb and a mana thirst. With a leaf and a bunch of potions. He's getting a serpent staff? A dark saber serpent staff mana torch build. Wow. Wow. Could've gotten a cold and lit it on the sword too. True. What is that gonna be like a 12, 24, uh, 48%, 50% chance basically? Yeah, the, the opponent about all the Sam's in the world. Agreed. We might be okay. Besides the accuracy. Oh, why is he critting me for so much? Please stop. Please stop that. Not me missing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was a lot closer than I thought it would be. Should we get this crown? Pretty added survivability? No? Okay. <laughs> mm 
Below nine, dire kill. Dire kill. The only way. Am I gonna reach 10 mana? I mean... If we don't reach 10 mana, then these blueberries were useless. Great sword and ace. Okay, fine. I'll go get your great sword and ace. If I can find them. The game doesn't like me. Whopper, yeah, I saw it too. I saw the Whopper Singer. I just really want the I wanna see the I wanna see the great sword crit. And I wanna use double great swords as well. We got one more round of rolling. 14 gold here. So we're gonna be rolling a lot next round. For sure. We could also get a dagger. We got a hella empowerment anyways. Nah. We're getting that other great sword. Oh, we lose this. I'm pretty sure. That's a lot of dragons and a staff of fire. And this guy just inflicted four blind on me. 80% accuracy at the start of the game. This is gonna be, this is tough. This is tough. Dude. Imagine I was a 125 damage crit and then I miss. Yeah, this is a game. That's a game. Oh, I love Corrupted Crystal. <laughs> Without Corrupted Crystal there, we lose. 100% chance. Do I need another one? Okay. Also see this healing herb, that's an insta proccing heart. We got 24 gold. Where's my great sword and ace card? Okay, we got the ace. Ace acquired. Ace acquired. This has to be an odd number, right? Here we go. You think this board with Falcon would be worse? I think it would be better. Because you got Artifact of Cold, which is better on Falcon Blade. You got Infinite Empowerment, which is better on Falcon Blade, right? You think I'll find another great sword? I'm gonna buy this. I'll sell items if I don't, if I, you know, we see it. All right. All righty. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um. All right, we sell lamp, right? Falcon will be better here if Smo has some survivability. <laughs> Stone gloves, Falcon blade, easy. I say we sell. I say we sell oil lamp. Ooh, my headphones are, are here for aesthetic purposes. I say we blueberries. We need them for the clover generation. That's the only reason they're here for clover generation. I think we sell the lamp. I'm I mean, I'm willing to even sell a Mrs. Struggles. We bought this on sale. I'm willing to sell a Mrs. Struggles and a lamp. And a unique. Is it even doing anything? <laughs> no, we need it. We need it. We need it. We need it for the empowerment. It increases its damage through empowerment. We can't sell the stone. We could try a next run with Falcon. I'm down to try. I was going to try it with other weapons, but I'm down to try. You don't benefit from the four hits from the unique. I mean, if it's got like 10 empowerment on it, we do. <laughs> Selling the stone is best? What?
you sell? Sh oh, I thought you you talking about Mr. Struggles. I mean, Mr. Struggles, right? <laughs> I think I sell Mr. Struggles, one of them, and lamp, because the lamp only benefits one weapon, right? We have two, so like, you know, I think I'd rather sell these two. Sell berry. Without the blueberries, we don't get clovers. And this is the perfect amount of blueberries. Well, we could sell one. We just need these to proc twice, right? Because Toad gives us one mana, and that'll give us five. And then after another cycle, that's another five. And then after another cycle, we'll get clovers. Because how else are we getting clover dinners? I mean, this is two. That'll be another two. Wait a second. Maybe we do sell stones. We have the ace card, which we need for crits. We don't want the stones to eat up our crits. Hey, Tana, what's up? But yeah, we don't want the stones to eat up our crits. We want the great sword to crit, not the stones. Hmm. Hmm. Sell the corrupted crystal? Hmm. Then we should sell one fanny pack? I was going to use it for this great sword. I'm, I'm confuzzled. I don't know what to sell. Definitely the crystals out. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, now that we're getting two swords. It's probably not needed That sells for four. That's an easy four gold Easy four gold You think I sell the stones I think we sell the stones Or we could sell the stone bag we could keep the cold. As long as this doesn't hit and eat up our crits, we're fine, right? But it's a four second cooldown. This is definitely gonna, no. I mean, with a four second cooldown, this is a two second cooldown. We have two swords. Both of these swords should hit before the cold stone hits. And this card should be flipped by then. So the sword should eat up the crit and not the stone. So we could just sell the bag of stones. and keep the stone itself. Yeah, sell the normal stone at least. <laughs> yeah, this has a 2.5 cooldown. So we definitely get rid of this. We don't want that to eat up our crits. It's not in a single fanny. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna put it in a fanny. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, <laughs> this impractical large great sword is uh, most definitely going inside of a fanny pack. 100% multiple i might even buy this one we, get, we have enough money so all right let's sell you we can sell the corrupted we can sell this stone buy the great sword and now i'm thinking we sell this oil lamp maybe because i kind of do want to get that fanny i mean we could sell the lover's cars actually no we can't because this needs to be an odd number yeah yeah this needs to be an odd number so we can't do that Oh yeah, we do have the cat for 15%, uh, but it also speeds up the stones. So this is a unique. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do here. So, I mean, I feel like we're gonna have to move this situation right here somewhere else. Is there a world where we can do this? I think so. Okay. So far, so good. I don't know what to do about this toad. Unless I move the board to the left by one, get rid of these fannies, which might not be bad. I mean, we'll just move these fannies to this great sword so we could do this. I don't know what to do about that one singular spot. 
guess we'll do this. Maybe something like this? Why don't I put them next to each other? The swords? Well, because of Mr. Struggles. And the code. We even do that. And then pull this down. I just don't like this space setup is weird. I mean, that also works for the sake of space. We just want Nico to be expensive. What was that 24? This is 28. I guess we'll keep it like this. We've got three slots left over to fill it. Which that can be Heart of Darkness, etc. That works. Still got this guy left over. We can put this on him, I guess. Why not? So they're both triple fannied up. It isn't horrible. But we uh, we shouldn't have stamina anyways. Wait, what? Why wouldn't we want to have stamina? Stamina is important. <laughs> huh? What is bro expecting to meet? That he needs to struggle. <laughs> Scale and vampire aren't with heater. What? <laughs> Lol. Guy is tripping. Crystallize. Why wouldn't we need stamina? Sometimes 200 heal a second below 10 seconds. Who else would we run into that? Like, what are the odds we run into that type of build? That crazy of a build. I just realized I kind of want to. Ooh, that's a nice spot. That's a way better spot. You way better spot. We better. Now you are two for six. Sixty percent faster. I could even make you seventy percent faster. I don't know if I want to. Yeah, that's better. Damn, I can't believe we managed to do this build. <laughs> Double great sword. Artifact of cold. The Nico. We're only missing one other toad. That's it. That's all we're missing. But even so, we should still do pretty freaking great. God tier hurt placement. <laughs> Let's go. Does anyone have any um any objections to this? Any way we can make this better, you guys think? The only thing I could see is probably selling a bag to get this fanny pack. We could sell a... I don't want to sell a stamina sack, though. I think I'd rather just sell a leather bag. Like, I could sell this leather bag, get the stamina sack, and make this 10% faster, make that 10% faster. I feel like ideally I'd want to make the great swords faster, though, but I'm not really sure about that placement. There really you can, but too many potions are needed. You trigger struggles with armor potions, so he goes from uh, zero. Yeah, you can. I think it would be best. Well, I mean, yeah, you can. You can. It's easier. It's probably easier on. Um. Well. Never mind. I was thinking about a different build. I was thinking about a different build. Just replace that bag is fine. I think so. Perfect slottage. All right, this is the build. Seeing those crits will be great. 
Now, let's just not go against a Jinx. Um, chain Whip. Um, corrupted Helmet. Let's just not go against any of those. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> If we don't kill this guy in like the first three seconds, I think we lose. I think we lose. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. He's going to be healing so much. Bro, he got the chilies and the cheese. The chilies and the cheese. Bro. <laughs> He's got the chilies and the cheese, bro. That's a lot of fucking cheese. He's got the max health and the infinite freaking speed and everything. Ah. He doesn't have enough mana. I mean, you're right. There's no mana orbs. All he has is a mana thirst and a few blueberries. They were guarding as well. Alrighty. We should have got a fucking... I don't know. Heart of Darkness is about to go crazy. Still in this guy's buffs. <laughs> about to go ape shit. You're gonna have all the buffs in the world that you can take, my friend. Have at it. Have at it. Let me see those crits. No, the fucking... I'm tired. You guys saw that? This thing just did a critical. That 23 damage crit was the fucking stone. I thought we calculated this. God damn it. It's fine though. It's fine. Stamina potion being used now. One more hit, two more hits. Let's go. Let's go. That went way better than I thought. How long was that battle? Five seconds, yep. Damn. Noise. Stone carry. Stone is just a quick 23 damage critical. I could have done 100 damage with a great sword. Fucking stone. I think that that heroic potion came in clutch right there. Definitely came in clutch.